हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एक्सट्रेंसिक कोचिंग आज हम सॉल्व करने वाले हैं जे टी ओ एल आई सी टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन केरला सर्कल का क्वेश्चन पेपर इस क्वेश्चन पेपर में इम्पोर्टेंट एम आपको मिल जाएंगे अगर आपकी इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच डिग्री या डिप्लोमा इंजीनियरिंग के लिए इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी कंप्यूटर साइंस इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल और इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग है ठीक है यहाँ पे जो एम है बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट एम दिए हुए हैं अब अगर आप जे टी के लिए प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हो तो इस क्वेश्चन पेपर का आंसर की ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल है लेकिन आंसर की में बहुत सारी एम्बिग्यूटी है हाँ और बहुत सारे करेक्शंस हैं और ये बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन भी आपको ये पेपर का मैं आपको ओवरव्यू दूँ तो ये पेपर ऐसा है जिसमें बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन में बहुत सारे डाउट क्रिएट होंगे हाँ काफ़ी जगह आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि सर तो फिर करेक्ट आंसर इसका क्या होना चाहिए हाँ मैंने प्रायोरिटी पे आंसर दिया है अगर इस बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन ऐसे है जिसमें मल्टीपल आंसर्स पॉसिबल है जिसमें एम्बिग्यूटी बहुत है हाँ क्योंकि यहाँ पे क्या किया है क्वेश्चन पेपर को टफ करने के लिए ऑप्शन के साथ छेड़छाड़ की हुई है और जब ऑप्शन के साथ छेड़छाड़ की हुई है तो काफ़ी जगह पे ऐसा हो जा रहा है कि आपका जो दो ऑप्शन है या तो एक भी ऑप्शन सही नहीं है आंसर की में तो बहुत सारी गलतियां हैं ठीक है तो ये पेपर सॉल्यूशन जो है हाँ पूरा ज़रूर देखना और जो भी आ, आपको चेंजेस लगे आंसर की में आपके पास जो आंसर की है उसके हिसाब से आप चेंजेस कर देना ठीक है और कोई भी डाउट है तो आप मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन में कमेंट करके बता सकते हो ठीक है तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन द क्वाट्री कीबोर्ड क्वाट्री कीबोर्ड जो है आपको पता है द मोस्ट पॉपुलर कीबोर्ड इज क्वाट्री कीबोर्ड हाँ आपका कोई भी कीबोर्ड देखो तो आपका लैपटॉप का जो कीबोर्ड है या आपका कंप्यूटर का जो कीबोर्ड है हाँ उसका ऊपर आपका फर्स्ट फाइव फर्स्ट सिक्स लेटर हाँ मतलब फिक्स सिक्स लेटर ऊपर देखोगे तो वो लिखा हुआ है और उससे उसका नाम पड़ा है तो हम हर जगह पे मोस्ट पॉपुलरली उसका ही मैक्सिमम यूज़ करते हैं ठीक है नेक्स्ट एन इंटरप्ट कैन बी टेम्प्ररी इग्नोर बाय काउंटर इज नॉन एस ठीक है और देखो यहाँ पे एक्चुअली आप वैसे इंटरप्ट को इग्नोर कर सकते हो जो मास्केबल इंटरप्ट है हाँ कौन सा इंटरप्ट मास्केबल है कौन सा इंटरप्ट नॉन मास्केबल है इसके बारे इसके बारे में हमने जो पहले पेपर सॉल्व करवाया था वहाँ डिस्कस कर चुके हैं जो मैंने आपको अब तक सॉल्व करवाया है और हमने डिस्कशन किया है हाँ उसके बेस पे भी बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन है यहाँ पे पूछे हुए हाँ बहुत ज़्यादा रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन है लेकिन थोड़ा घुमा के पूछा है हाँ तो देखो इंटरप्ट विच कैन बी टेम्पररी इग्नोर बाई द काउंटर इज एक्चुअली नॉन एज मास्केबल इंटरप्ट बस बट एज मास्केबल इंटरप्ट इज है लो प्रायोरिटी सो यू कैन आंसर यर लो प्रायोरिटी इंटरप्ट हाँ जनरली आपको पूछेंगे तो मास्केबल इंटरप्ट ही पूछेंगे मुझे याद रखना हाँ द बस इज यूज टू ट्रांसफर डेटा फ्रॉम मेन मेमरी टू पेरीफरल डिवाइस इज देखो मेन मेमरी से पेरीफरल डिवाइस ट्रांसफर करने के लिए आपका डेटा बस का यूज होता है ठीक है पेरीफरल डिवाइस ट्रांसफर करने के लिए डेटा बस क्या होता है आपको आंसर की में डी एम बस दिया हुआ है डी एम बस ऐसा कोई बस नहीं होता है हाँ डेटा बस ही होता है जो आपका डेटा ट्रांसफर करता है विद पेरीफरल डिवाइसेस ओके नेक्स्ट 32 बिट माइक्रो प्रोसेसर हैज अ वर्ड लेंथ इक्वल टू 32 बिट पिटा हुआ क्वेश्चन हाँ इससे पहले भी आ गया है फोर बाइट्स विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर अच्छा मैं आपको एक और चीज़ बता दूँ हाँ यहाँ पे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन में काफ़ी बार ऐसा हो जाता है जैसे पहले पेपर में हुआ है मैं बोल तो सही रहा हूँ लेकिन आंसर जो है वो गलत मार्क हो जा रहा है हाँ तो काफ़ी बार जल्दी जल्दी में ऐसा हो जाता है ऐसी गलती आपसे एग्जाम में बिल्कुल नहीं होनी चाहिए ये बहुत ही सिली मिस्टेक्स है जो काफ़ी बार जल्दी 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 करने में हो जाती है लेकिन जो बोल रहा हूँ और गौर करना और फिर भी आपको डाउट आए तो मुझे फिर आप कॉमेंट सेक्शन में पूछ लेना जैसे आप पूछ रहे हो बहुत ही अच्छा कर रहे हो जो भी बंदे पूछ रहे हैं वो बहुत ही अच्छा है काफ़ी सारा लोगों का गलत जो है वो सही हो जाएगा ठीक है क्योंकि जब सॉल्यूशन करते हैं तो अगर गलत सॉल्यूशन है और आपका कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर नहीं है तो फिर आप वही गलत सॉल्यूशन याद रखोगे एग्जाम में पूछा तो भी वही गलत करके आ जाओगे और फिर जब आपका गलत हो जाएगा तो आप पछताओगे कि यार मैंने थोड़ा ये देख लिया होता तो अच्छा होता हाँ इससे अच्छा है कि अगर कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर कर लो तो फिर अगर आंसर की में भी गलत है कोई भी बुक रिफर कर रहे हो देखो मुझे काफी लोग ये पूछ रहे हैं कि सर कौन सा बुक रिफर करें देखो मैं हर बार कहता हूं 
कि कोई एक बुक नहीं है जो कोई आपका एग्जाम क्लियर करवा सके ठीक है क्योंकि कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लियरिटी होना जरूरी है तो जितने भी सिलेबस में सब्जेक्ट दिए हैं उन सबका कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लियरिटी लाना जरूरी है हाँ और हम इतने सारे पेपर सॉल्व करेंगे कि ऑलमोस्ट सारे सब्जेक्ट के सारे इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जो है वो कवर हो जाएंगे और आपका कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लियरिटी ऑलमोस्ट जो इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक है उसमें आ ही जाएगा ठीक है लेकिन एक बात मुझे यहाँ पर अच्छी नहीं लग रही है कि आप जो है वो पूरा वीडियो बहुत सारे लोग देख रहे हैं बहुत सारे बहुत सारे लोग फॉलो भी कर रहे हैं लेकिन वीडियो को लाइक कोई नहीं कर रहा है हाँ तो आप जैसे ही मतलब आपको क्या अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है तो आप मुझे बताओ कि क्या इम्प्रूवमेंट चाहिए अभी और आपको हाँ मैं इतना डिटेल में तो आपको बता रहा हूँ हाँ इतनी सारी मेहनत करके पूरा एक दिन मेहनत करके आपके लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहा हूँ एक पेपर ठीक है क्योंकि हंड्रेड्स क्वेश्चन है एक ही एट ए टाइम में मैं बता रहा हूँ इसमें कोई मैं एडिटिंग नहीं कर रहा हूँ हाँ जो भी मैं सॉल्व कर रहा हूँ वही सीधा वीडियो आपको बता रहा हूँ तो देखो अब आ, आपको भी मुझे थोड़ा रिस्पॉन्स दोगे तो ज़्यादा अच्छा लगेगा हाँ तो वीडियो को लाइक अब तक नहीं किया है तो सबसे पहले वीडियो को लाइक कर लो ठीक है फिर शेयर और सब्सक्राइब तो आप मुझे लग रहा है कर ही रहे हो ठीक है और अच्छा कर रहे हो अगर नहीं कर रहे हो तो बिल्कुल करना हाँ तो मुझे फीडबैक मिलेगा तो मुझे और मतलब मैं मोटिवेट होगा और ज़्यादा आपके लिए मेहनत करने के लिए ठीक है तो लैंग्वेज विच अ कॉम्प्यूटर कैन अंडरस्टैंड इज कौन सा लैंग्वेज जो है वो कंप्यूटर समझ सकता है हाँ देखो यहाँ पे कंप्यूटर को क्या है मशीन है हाँ तो मशीन कौन सा लैंग्वेज समझेगा मशीन लैंग्वेज समझेगा सर हाँ सो आंसर क्या आएगा ऑप्शन सी मशीन लैंग्वेज मशीन लैंग्वेज एक्चुअली अ लैंग्वेज अंडरस्टूड बाय कंप्यूटर वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाँ हम हमारे लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट है इससे पहले भी हम बात कर चुके हैं इट इज ऑनली थिंग दैट कंप्यूटर कैन वर्क विथ ऑल प्रोग्राम्स एंड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इवेंचुअली जनरेट और रन प्रोग्राम इन मशीन लैंग्वेज ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स अ बीम ऑफ लाइट यूज टू रिकॉर्ड एंड रिट्राइव डेटा ऑन ऑप्टिकल डिस्क इज नॉन एस हाँ इसे क्या कहते हैं लेजर हाँ लेजर का यूज करके हम आपकी डिस्क जो होती है ऑप्टिकल डिस्क हाँ उसे राइट भी कर सकते हैं रीड भी कर सकते हैं ठीक है लेजर का फुल फॉर्म इससे पहले हम पढ़ चुके हैं हाँ अगर आपको याद है तो मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन में लिख के ज़रूर बताना हाँ ऑप्टिकल स्टोरेज टेक्नोलॉजी है हाँ लेज़र बीम का एनकोड करता है डिजिटल डेटा ऑन टू ऑप्टिकल और लेज़र डिस्क इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एनी पीस अरेंज इन द कॉन्सेंट्रिक ट्रैक्स ऑन द डिस्क सरफेस ठीक है ऐसे आपका जो जैसे आपका फॉर एग्जांपल ऑप्टिकल डिस्क है या मतलब आपका सीडी है डीवीडी है उसमें डेटा राइट रीड कैसे होता है उसकी बात कर रहे हैं अ कंट्रोल ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर यूज टू क्रिएट लूप इज देखो लूप करने के लिए आपका इटेशन का यूज होता है देखो यहाँ पे ये कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर जो है जिसके तीन पर्टिकुलरली टाइप होते हैं हाँ कंट्रोल ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर के एक होता है आपका सीक्वेंस सीक्वेंस में क्या होता है द ऑर्डर वी वांट द कंप्यूटर टू एग्जीक्यूट द इंस्ट्रक्शन वी प्रोवाइड प्रोग्रामर्स फॉर एग्जांपल डू दिस फर्स्ट देन डू दिस देन डू दैट एंड सो फोर्थ ओके देन दूसरा होता है सिलेक्शन जिसे यहाँ पर लिखा है चॉइस वी सिलेक्शन ठीक है सिलेक्टिंग विथ पाथ Along an algorithm to execute depending on some criteria. For example, if you pass a class in school, then we execute the operation that clap and cheer and play a song. But if you didn't pass the class, then maybe we would say better luck next time. Hang in there. Okay, and this is the last is iteration that looping or repeating के लिए use होता है. Many times we want to uh, able to be repeat a set of operation a specific number of times or until some condition you some condition occurs okay so this is the three type of control of structure remember that next question number 8 c programming language provides operation which deals directly with the object such as okay c programming language provide operations which directly deals with the characters integers and floating point number ha huh? this is very easy question you know that question option number uh, option c is the correct answer which of the following relation operation in c means not equal to again repeated question one question we have done that was table like okay at that time we have learned this not equal to option b is the correct answer which of the following is true when a text file 
in pascal is open for reading okay now this very interesting question uh, one and two is the answer okay that is end of file is set for false and end of line is set for false why because if you are opening the file and started to read a text file then it is not the end of file or end of line okay because you are just starting to read the file so setting uh, eof or end of file or eol ln that is end of line actually correspond to an implicit read in which the input is incepted but not used up huh? in fact the system cannot detect whether the input is at end of file or at the end of line unless it's attempt to read a line from it okay first line read karega tab tak line read nahi karega to pata kaise chalega ki end of file hai ki end of line hai okay so that is the correct answer so option d is the correct answer here next a linker okay linker is a software program which combines the program part of program okay uh, different different part of programs are there for to uh, combine that different different part of program linker is used okay linker in a system also known as the linker editor and binder which combines the object modules into a single object file so option d is the correct both a and b are correct here okay next question number 12 the following translate the source program into object program now look this is a very very important question and very very interesting also okay there are multiple answers here okay first to convert a source code to object code or to convert a high level language to low level language we are using compiler okay so option c is correct um, answer given in the answer is totally wrong ha huh? answer given in the answer key is option d here so if it can if it is asked the following translate source program into object program which of the following is false answer okay then option d is correct interpreter also do, do the same line by line compiler at once assembler also do the same ha huh? assembler translate assembly language into machine language so it also translates source program into object program so this could be the answer also okay so according to me this is a very uh, ambiguity ha huh? uh, question is the question in this uh, particular uh, question is there but if it is asked clearly to source code to object code or source program to object program then answer should be a compiler if it is asked assembly language to machine language then answer should be a assembler according to my knowledge okay which of the following is not correct question number 13 we are moving further which of the following is not correct okay bus is a group of wire belt absolutely correct boost bootstrap is a technique or device for loading first transaction um, we have already learned uh, in detail about the bootstrap an instruction is a set of heads that define a computer operation uh okay it is also a correct an interrupt signal is required at the start of every program this is not correct okay option d is the correct answer here because it is asked which of the following is not correct an interrupt signal is not required at the start of every program okay interrupt signal is required whenever you want to interrupt next question moving forward question number 14 algorithm is used algorithm is used to bring itself into desired state by its own action to perform logarithmic operation to describe set of procedure by which given result is obtained algorithm is used to describe set of procedure by which given result is obtained you want a result okay and that's why algorithm is used an assembler next question number 15 assembler in a computer system prepares look the topic about which i talk earlier okay jo maine aapko upar pehle bataya assembler ka us kab hoga aapka theek hai wahi question pucha hai is paper mein assembler ke question yahi question teen baar puch liya hai ha machine language program for a symbolic uh, lang from a symbolic language program okay what assembler actually do it will convert or prepare system for the machine language program from a symbolic language program or you can say assembly language program ha symbolic language mein se machine language mein convert karega it is the same actually they are converting a source program into object program okay so you can also say like that but assembler is a computer system generally use 
or prepares the term for the machine language program from a symbol language program. So, option A is correct here. Next question number 16. The process of executing several programs simultaneously by use of more than one processing unit is called. Okay, if more than one processing unit, then it should be a multiprocessing. Okay, so multiprocessing is use of two or more central processing units within the single computer system. The term also refers the ability of the system to support more than one processor or ability to allot task between them. Okay, so this is the multiprocessing. The advantage of the multiprocessing system are many. Okay, some of the advantages are it increases throughput by increasing the number of processor. More work can be completed in unit time. Uh, also, cost saving, parallel systems, sharps the memory, bus, peripherals, it is the multiprocessor system. Thus, saves money as compared to multiple single systems. So, these are the advantage of multiple processing systems. Okay, next. The operating system manages operating system manages memory processor disk and IO device again option D is all of above so all of above is always correct okay in your question huh? it is not meant to be always correct but here it is always correct now this is very important question again okay there is ambiguity is are there in the options which of the following sorting method is stable okay in your answer kit is given a binary insertion sort but actually insertion sort is stable and straight insertion sort is more stable than the binary insertion sort so answer should be straight insertion sort okay heap sort and shell sort are unstable actually is i am repeating insertion sort is stable okay so a and b are both correct answers but if uh, if it is asked in your exam straight insertion sort is more stable okay binary insertion sort can be unstable if there is a mistake in binary okay hope you are getting my point so option b is the wrong here option a is correct here okay but actually according to this question a and b both are correct Okay, if it is asked A and B both are correct, then answer should be A and B both are correct. Okay, and that is why actually this type of question creates the ambiguity in the MCQ and this type of questions are always there in every paper and in every book. Okay, so sometimes you found MCQ books are wrong. Actually, they are not wrong. Some printing mistakes also occur. Okay, look, look here. If uh, uh, here your examiner can uh, give many wrong answer in the hundreds question uh, in the uh, your primary key or provisional key then uh, books are writing a 500 of question 600 of question for one chapter so there is always mistake even if you will write a b c d a b c d line by line for the continuously 300 question you will do mistake also uh, as i do in the last paper for question number 21 okay so that is always be mistaken uh, by uh, by the examiner or uh, who is preparing key okay so detailed solution is always important if you are getting a detailed solution then you can understand what is the correct and what is wrong okay so question number 19 ask stands for repeated question american standard call for information exchange okay so option d is the correct uh, we have talked about it earlier next which of the following is not a system software very simple question java is not a system software ms dos unix windows are the group of computer connected through a media within the room or office or a building is called a lan okay one student asked a doubt in the last uh, question that lan is only useful for the sharing printer no you can also um, share files through lan okay you can also create a local area network in which you can share email from one pc to another pc huh? that is also possible so all of above was correct there name the device which is not which is used to connect the two network no a q is the wrong here huh? it is they mean to ask network here um, network which may or may not be similar so you are using router for that okay so option b is the correct answer speed of the fast internet port fe port um, speed is 100 mbps around okay so option d is the correct option here which of the following are 
I am not IF address. Huh? There are many spelling mistakes in this question in this question paper. What of the following IP address? Not IF address actually. Huh? They meant to ask here IP address is reserved for a private nature. Uh, actually, private network. Actually, uh, if there are spelling mistakes in this questions, uh, the questions, uh, in your uh, exam paper, they meant to be cancelled in the final answer. Ki, huh? because um, this ambiguity should not occur in this question paper oh, though you can understand what they mean to ask but that question should be cancelled for the final SM, uh, assertion okay then uh, which of the following ip address is reserved for the private network answer will be all of above huh? even here all of above is given all of above is the answer all the IP address used for the local communication within the private network uh, 172.16.0.0 oblique 12 10.0.0.0 oblique 8 even on Wikipedia all the IP addresses are given which are result for the private network you can find these addresses there okay next TCP is again repeated question we have talked about it earlier reliable and connection oriented protocol OSPF stands for Open Shortest Path First. Okay, this algorithm is used in your networking. So, option B is the correct answer. Next question IP address of a host is a part of network layer. IP address is a, of a host is a part of network layer okay in ip address we are talking about network network host host different for for example class b for class c network 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 host so that they want to ask okay the default value of the ttl field in the ip diagram is default value in the ttl ttl means here not ttl of logic family huh? transistor transistor logic they are not talking about in the ip diagram ttl means time to leave Huh? is 8 bit field in ipv4 header okay and by default uh, at the start we are taking the value 64 okay so 64 is the correct answer here the subnet mask for class b as i talk earlier huh? a subnet mask for the class b again the previous question 2.5.255.0.0 network network host host okay the address size of the ipv6 addressing लुक इससे पहले हमने जो भी डिस्कशन किया है हाँ उस डिस्कशन से काफी सारे क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे पूछ लिए हैं हाँ नहीं डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन नहीं लेकिन हमने जो क्वेश्चन के अंदर मैंने आपको डिटेल सॉल्यूशन दिया है डिटेल डिस्कशन किया है उससे काफी सारे क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे आपके निकल जा रहे हैं हाँ ऑलमोस्ट मैं आपको गिन के बताऊँ तो ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी से ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन आपको मिल जाएंगे जो यहाँ पे ऐसे है जो हमने डिटेल डिटेल सोल्यूशन किया है उसके डिटेल सोल्यूशन के अंदर से क्वेश्चन पूछ लिया है ठीक है द एड्रेस साइज ऑफ आई पी लुक This is also we have discussed about हाँ when अभी आर वे टॉकिंग अबाउट आई पी वी फोर थर्टी टू बीट मैंने आपको बताया था वहाँ पर आई पी वी सिक्स में कितना होता है वन ट्वेंटी एट होता है और राउटर डिसाइड टू राउट टू विच पैकेट हैज टू बी फॉरवर्डेड बेस्ड ऑन द इन्फॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल इज ओके तो कहाँ से डिसाइड करेगा राउटिंग टेबल इज द करेक्ट आंसर इयर ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी एंश्योर्स Again, all of above is the option given. So we did all availability of the data, integrity of the data, and confidentiality of the data. All of above are correct. Option D is the correct. The speed of DC motor is speed of DC motor is always directly proportional to back EMF. Okay, and inversely proportional to the flux per pole. Okay, these are the answer. If it is asked, um, no. Inversely proportional to back EMF and uh, inversely proportional to flux, then inversely proportional to flux will be the right answer. Okay. Next, if supply voltage to a shunt motor is increased by 25%, which of the following will decrease? Okay. Here, answer will be a full load speed, not full load current. Okay. If it is asked if a supply voltage to a DC motor is increased, which of the following will decrease then answer will be a full load current here they ask shunt motor is increase okay so full load speed will be the right answer okay next a starting resistance of the dc motor is usually 
starting resistance or DC motor is usually very small. Huh? At the time of starting a DC motor, starting resistor is only the resistance of armature and the armature resistance of the motor is very small. Generally, you can say a less than 1. Okay? So, option D is the correct answer. The function of compute commutator in a DC machine is function of commutator in the DC machine is to change AC voltage into DC voltage, but they should ask here DC generator actually. Huh? And function of commutator in DC machine are both. If it is a DC generator, then AC to DC. This is correct. But if it's, it is DC motor, then DC to AC. Okay, so option B can be also correct here. So there is again ambiguity in the options here in this question. But as they are DC machine and as a DC machine, we are using DC generator. So they given the answer C AC to DC. Okay, remember if DC generator is there, it will convert AC into DC. If it is DC motor, then it will convert your DC into AC. Okay. Question number 37, the yoke of DC generator is made of cast iron because your yoke of generator is made of cast iron because outer frame of DC machine, uh, what is yoke first of all, huh? yoke means that your outer frame of the DC machine, okay. Uh, it is cheaper, it completes the magnetic path, it gives the machine protection to the machine, all of these are correct answer. Okay. Next, the secondary of transformer is never kept open circuit under actual operating condition to avoid saturation of core. Okay. So, option C is the correct answer here. Secondary side of the current transformer is always kept short circuited in order to avoid core saturation and provide a high voltage induction so that current transformer can be used to measure high values of current okay alternator works on the principle of alternator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction okay so option b is the correct answer here all the alternator work on the principle of electromagnetic induction according to this law for producing the electricity we need a conductor magnetic field and a mechanical energy every machine that rotates and reproduce alternating current okay question number 14 single phase induction motor can be made self starting by single phase induction motor can be actually single phase induction motor is not self starting huh? to make it self starting it can be temporarily converted into two phase motor while starting this can be achieved by introducing an additional starting winding also called as auxiliary winding okay and auxiliary winding is the combination of capacitor and auxiliary winding in parallel with the main winding so option a will be the correct answer okay a transformer operates transformer operates always at the power factor depending on the power factor of the load so option d will be the correct answer here next if a single phase motor runs hot the probable cause may be uh, overload low voltage high voltage or any of above any of above can occur okay next which of the following boolean expression is true here okay um uh, Actually, I have solved a lot of Boolean algebra in detail. Okay, you have to lecture first digital electronics ka lecture 1. Digital electronics ka jo playlist is the playlist from the first lecture. You will know that you will know. And you will know that you will know that this is a good theorem. Hai. Okay, option C is correct here. A plus B into A plus C is equal to A plus BC. A A multiply B C multiply so A plus B C which theorem is this okay simplify boolean expression देखो अगर ये आपको पता है तो यहीं से पूछा है A plus B plus A B into A plus C so what we will do we will take B common here so B into one plus A one plus A equal to one so it is also A plus B into A plus C and answer will be A plus B C so option C is correct here next and end gate may be visualized as end gate may be visualized as which is connected in the 
series okay i explain it in detail in my lecture series the resistance of semiconductor with the temperature always decreases why it is decreasing because as temperature increase the resistivity of the semiconductor decrease because increasing temperature the electron in the valence band gain sufficient thermal energy to jump to the conduction band and number of electron in conduction band increase conductivity increases and thus resistivity will decrease okay next the decimal equivalent of a hexadecimal number 1 af if you will convert it into a binary to decimal then it will be very easy 1 1 means 0 001 a means 10 ha huh? means 1 0 1 0 and f means 1 1 1 1 if last is 1 then i have told you always it is odd number okay so a and c option gone only option right are b 50 50 50 ho gaya yahan pe ha huh? option right can be b or d so now first of all last is it that is 1 ha huh? you can do that 2 raise to 2 raise to 8 that one means ha huh? 2 raise to 7 se aage ek aur one hai so 2 raise to 8 2 raise to 8 means 256 plus 1 that is 128 256 plus 128 you will do okay so again this option is gone so correct option will be 4 3 1 ha huh? that will be 256 plus 128 then 2 raise to 5 is one here okay 1 0 1 0 ओके सो प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस लास्ट ऑल वन एफ मतलब फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन सो यू विल गेट टू फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस वन ट्वेंटी एट प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस फाइव दैट इज फोर थर्टी वन ओके नेक्स्ट द बुलियन थियरम here it is also question is wrong actually equal to sign should be here हाँ दे आस्क बुलियन ड्यूअल ऑफ द बुलियन बुलियन थियरम विच आई टॉक अबाउट अर्लियर Okay, the dual of the Boolean theorem A into B C equal to A B plus A C is okay. How dual can be do? Or how complement can be do? Okay, how complements are done? How duals are done? I already explain in detail in my lecture series. Just watch there once. Okay, so answer here will be A plus B C equal to A plus B into A plus C. Okay, which option is there? Option C is there. Two complement of binary number again um, in the course I have detailed this in explain. Okay, uh, it is the what you are doing. You are doing one complement and then adding one. Easier method than that is starting from the left. Okay, first one remains at is it as, as it is and then convert ones into zeros and zeros into ones. So this is zero one zero zero. Which option is correct? Option D is correct here. A Boolean function can be expressed. Boolean function can be expressed uh, expressed as a product of max term and sum of min terms. Again, as I have discussed earlier, my playlist is there for digital electronics. If you will uh, see all the lecture, okay, and make the notes of your O one, then there is no question you cannot answer from digital electronics. Okay, all those question you can answer very easily. Among the logic families, the one having the lowest power dissipation and the highest noise margin is one having the lowest power dissipation means the CMOS. Okay, um, actually repeated this question. We talk about it earlier. What is the power dissipation of the CMOS? I told you in the last um, solution of the paper. Okay, right now you will told me in the comment section. Comment there. What is the lowest power dissipation of the CMOS? Okay, what is the power dissipation? The standard binary code for alpha numeric character. Again, this repeated question. They actually in every LIC paper this question has been asked. Huh? For about ASCII. Uh, ASCII always uh, favorite for the alpha numeric character. Okay, and um, uh, in two or three paper they ask about the full form. Even in this paper earlier they ask about the full form and also one more question for the ask from the ask. In FM broadcast, the maximum modulation frequency is restricted to 15 kilohertz. If it is the AM broadcast, then remember maximum modulation frequency is restricted to 5 kilohertz. Okay, next. To generate PCM, the signal is sampled and converted into. Okay, uh, look at this question. Uh, this is a very interesting question. If you in the PCM after sampling, your uh, 
सिग्नल विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू पी एम पल्स एम्बेटरी मॉड्यूलेशन ओके सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट हियर इन पी सी एम वन ट्वेंटी एट स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटाइजिंग लेवल द मैक्सिमम एरर विल बी मैक्सिमम एरर इन द पी सी एम विल बी और डिफरेंस ऑफ मैक्सिमम वोल्टेज डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू टू इंटू टू रेस टू एन और यू कैन से टू रेस टू एन प्लस वन ओके सो क्वांटाइजेशन लेवल आर वन टू एट मीन्स एल एल इज इक्वल टू टू रेस टू एन सो एन इज इक्वल टू सेवन हियर बट वील डू इफ यू डू एन प्लस वन देन एन विल बी इक्वल टू एट एंड वन अपॉन टू रेस टू एट मीन्स वन अपॉन टू फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑफ द टोटल एम्पलीट्यूड रेंज इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट हियर ओके नेक्स्ट द पल्स मॉड्यूलेशन सिस्टम विच विथ एनी मॉड्यूलेशन ऑल द ट्रांसमिटेड पल्स हैव द सेम एम्पलीट्यूड विथ एंड स्पेसिंग ओके सो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट हियर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एडवांटेज ऑफ एफ एम ओवर एम दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ओके अगेन रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन लोअर बैंडविथ इज रिक्वायर्ड इज नॉट एडवांटेज इन द वेरी फर्स्ट पेपर वी टॉक अबाउट इट ओके इन पी सी एम सिस्टम इच क्वांटाइजेशन लेवल इज एनकोडेड इन टू एट बीट द सिग्नल टू क्वांटाइजेशन नॉइज रेशो विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड डी बी दिस अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन पी टावर्स क्वेश्चन आई विल से ओके सो सिक्स एंड मतलब एट इंटू सिक्स इफ यू डू फोर्टी एट डी बी एक्चुअली इट इज सिक्स एंड प्लस वन पॉइंट एट डी बी ओके इफ आंसर इज गिवन फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट एट देन इवन इट इज अ करेक्ट आंसर ओके इट इज द क्वांटाइजेशन नॉइस or you are also learning as a error in your digital analog or analog digital converter okay modems are used for the data transmission telephone lines to increase the transmission capacity option a is the correct option here the nyquist sampling rate for the signal gt is equal to tan cos 50 pi t into cos square 150 pi t again in your answer key option given is wrong ha huh? 150 is the wrong answer here because what you will do tan cos pi t now we have to convert cos square into 1 plus cos 2 theta divide by 2 so that will be 1 plus cos 300 pi t divide by 2 okay multiply by uh, cos 50 pi t again cos theta into cos theta 2 cc okay so you will get cos 350 pi t And 350 pi t, so 350 is twice fm. You and your next sample, next sampling rate is twice fm. That is equal to 350. Okay, two cos 2 pi fm t is the standard form. So what is the answer here? Option D, 350 samples per second. Okay, hope you are getting my point and the solution in. PCM system the number of quotation levels are 16 and the maximum signal frequency is 4 kilohertz the bit transmission rate is again uh, in answer key wrong answer is given okay here what is a uh, bit transmission rate uh, we talk about it earlier rb is equal to nfs now n here is 4 because l is equal to 2 raised to n that is equal to 16 so n equal to 4 here maximum signal frequency is 4 kilohertz so maximum signal frequency 4 kilohertz so fs will be twice fm that is 8 kilohertz so 8 into 4 that is 32 kbps okay so option c is correct here why they have given 64 kbps i told you because in some pcm system they are considering the actually bandwidth is equal to rb by 2 Okay, and RB is equal to twice into a bandwidth, and it is twice NFS. They have done, and it is 64 kbps. That is the wrong. Huh? Actually, RB is equal to NFS directly, and and into FS you will do here. Then 32 kb will be the answer. Okay. Next, modem stands for modem stands for. Even this answer is wrong in your answer key. A modem stands for modem modulator at the transmitter side. And detector demodulator at the receiving side. Okay, so option A is correct here. Okay, modulation demodulation. It is a device that convert modem is actually device that convert digital signal into analog signal at the sender side and convert back to analog signal into digital signal at the receiver side. Okay, option e, option C. It is wrong wrongly given. Analog digital at the transmitting side. If it is given digital to analog transmitting side. And analog uh, digital, analog digital at the receiving side. Then it will be correct answer. Okay. Next, 
in question number 63 accumulation is device which adds and store previously stored number to a another number it is uh, they are talking about your accumulator in the microprocessor in intel 8085 and intel 8086 it differs in the number of again all of above is given number of address line number of beta line 808 can support multiprocess system while 805 can't all are correct okay the basic element of the microprocessor are look now in microprocessor there is no memory but actually there is a cache and register is there okay so given option given uh, wherever memory is given there is wrong option so alu and control unit is the right option here so option b is the right here but actually you are considering register as the memory okay then memory will be the right but what microprocessor contains uh, uh, control unit io unit alu your resistor and cache that is only microprocessor contain microprocessor have no internal ram or rom okay we are considering memory means ram or rom so uh, microprocessor have no internal memory so memory given in the option all are correct or wrong option okay no memory given alu and control unit is the right option here okay you are get hope you are getting my point next direct memory access channel dma facilitates the data to move into and out of the system with equal time delay on first come first basis without subroutine or without program intervention okay dma facilitate data moving out system dma access is a feature of computer system that allows certain hardware subsystem to access memory system huh? independent of the cpu so dma facility data moving in our system with program without program intervention okay there is no program intervention in that next 67 an assembler again um, third time uh, this question about assembler is asked in this paper okay assembler is a microprocessor used for assembly to machine language conversion or translation option c is correct translation of program from assembly language into machine language microwave frequencies are 500 megahertz to 30000 megahertz option d is the correct then which of the following noise becomes important in the microwave frequency that is transit time noise okay some diodes are there trapped impact they are operation in name transit time diodes are there okay so microwave frequencies and which noise is very important that is transit time noise which of the following device is a basically a wideband amplifier twt that is traveling wave tube is a wideband amplifier so option b is correct twt belongs to a category of linear beam tube huh? such as klystron in which the radio wave is amplified by absorbing power from a beam of electron and it passes down the tube two major categories are helix twt the radio waves interact with the electron beam while traveling down a wire helix which surrounds a beam the wave they have wide bandwidth but output power is limited to few hundred volt okay then coupled cavity twt the radio wave interacts with the beam in the series of cavity resonator through which the beam passes this function as a narrow band power amplifier major advantage of twt over the some other microwave tube is ability to amplify a wide range of frequency and wide bandwidth okay so always this is a very important question wide band amplifier is twt helical antenna is used for satellite tracking because of its circular polarization very simple question the dominant mode look i have asked in the first paper huh? a dominant mode in the rectangular waveguide is t10 no one answer for this ha huh? comment section mein kisi ne comment karke nahi bataya ki sir rectangular waveguide ka dominant mode kya hoga wahan detail mein discussion kiya tha wahan kya question pucha tha सर्कुलर वेव का डोमिनेंट मोड क्या होगा तो अब आज मुझे आप अगर आपको याद है वो हाँ तो कमेंट सेक्शन में कमेंट करके जरूर बताना कि सर्कुलर वेव का डोमिनेंट मोड क्या था ओके मैंने आपको पहले भी हम इसके बारे में बात कर चुके हैं डोमिनेंट मोड इज द मोड हाँ जो विद द लोवेस्ट कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी ओके एंड विच अलाउस ऑल अदर मोड और ऑल अदर सिग्नल टू पास थ्रू दैट ओके नेक्स्ट वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स इवेंचुअली फेस एट द माइक्रोवेव फ्रिक्वेंसी बिकॉज ऑफ there increase noise figure okay one of the reason why vacuum tubes eventually fail at micro frequency is there 
for vacuum tubes the noise figure increases as the frequency of operation increases thus at microwave frequencies vacuum tubes eventually fail to provide minimum required signal to noise ratio okay which of the following is a valid mechanism very simple question okay 12 hex should be there so 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 a b 1 2 this is valid mac address next 0 0.1 ampere a meter having a resistance of 10 ohm is to be converted to 1 ampere a meter by using the shunt resistance which of the following is the most efficient resistance this is a repeated question actually huh we have discussed this solution earlier okay rsh is rsh is equal to okay uh your r divided by rm divided by i by im minus 1 so i by im minus 1 that is 10 divided by 9 so answer will be 1.1 1 .1. Which of the following is an active transducer? Again, the repeated question. Photovoltaic cell is the active transducer. The number of address line required for 8K byte of memory is uh, 13. Okay. Uh, they, look, there are many wrong answers given. Again, I am saying in your primary key. Okay. So, correct it first. Um, you have you whenever you are solving this paper, keep your uh, primary answer key side by side and you should correct every wrong answer in your answer key okay 8k by address memory so 8k means 2 raised to 13 okay so you required 13 address line for that very simple question creep in energy meter in last they ask oh, what is which type of error occurs in the uh, energy meter or creeping error occurs in which meter so answer is energy meter here they ask creep in the energy meter can be prevented by having two holes on the opposite side of the disc okay next the meter <coughs> constant of a single phase to 40 volt induction volt meter is about 400 revolution per kws the speed of the meter disc uh, for a current of 10 ampere of 0 0.8 lagging power factor will be okay now this is very important question now first of all we will calculate here your total energy okay that is equal to your vi cos theta huh? uh, if you are want to calculate energy in the kilovolt hour then vi cos theta divided by 10 raise to uh, divide by 1000 or into 10 raise to minus 3 that is time okay so v is to 40 volt into i that is 10 into cos theta that is the your power factor that is 0 0.8 okay then what you will do e is equal to 240 into 10 into 0 0.8 divided by 1000 so you will get 1.92 kilovolt hour now you want to find revolution per hour then you will multiply it with the 400 revolution so uh, 400 into 1.92 so 768 revolution per hour you will get and if you feel convert that revolution per minute revolution per minute that is divided by 60 seven six uh, eight divided by 60 that is 12.8 rpm okay major is the instrument used for again repeated question testing insulation of the resistance okay major is a portable instrument to measure high insulation resistance it works on the principle of electromagnetic induction the electric power to a major is provided by a permanent magnet dc generator power of 100 kilovolt transmitter can be measured by power of 100 kilovolt transmitter can be measured by calorimeter volt meter again uh, i am asking i asked it earlier also no one answer uh, about that if you are using uh, if you are measuring a low power in the microwave at the microwave frequencies then which of the following will be used okay options are same give me answer in the comment section piezoelectric quartz crystal can be used to measure piezoelectric quartz crystal can be used to measure acceleration principle okay it is a sensor which is used to measure acceleration by using the piezoelectric crystal okay piezoelectric effect is the principle the sensitivity of a voltmeter is expressed as sensitivity okay this is very important term actually the sensitivity the voltmeter sensitivity is determined by dividing the sum of resistance of meter plus series resistance 
by the full scale reading in volt so sensitivity is said to be equal to the reciprocal of the full scale deflection current so it answer will be ohm per volt option b is the correct answer here shunt used in measuring instrument should have shunt used in measuring instrument should have very high resistance low resistance actually they should have a low thermal electromotive force with the copper okay generally a manganese is used okay so they should have very low resistance actually uh, which material is used for the shunt resistance if they ask answer will be manganese okay next a kelvin double bridge is the best suited for the measurement of kelvin's double bridge is the best suited for the measurement of low resistance okay you know about that then the resolution of the digital voltmeter resolution of dvm 1 by 10 raised to n n is 4 here so c is the right answer the advantage of electrostatic instrument is that advantage of electrostatic instrument there are many advantage huh? look at uh, just we look about the advantage you can write if you want to write advantage of electrostatic instrument both the ac and dc voltage can be measured by using the electrostatic instrument the electrostatic type of instrument consumes very less power the high value of the voltage can be measured by using the instrument in a rotary type electrostatic instrument in spite of linear displacement the angular displacement occur between the fixed and moving place the instrument has very less waveform and frequency error no error occur because of the stray magnetic field the instrument is designed for a large voltage these are the advantage now what are the disadvantage disadvantage of the electrostatic instrument are non-uniform scale is used for the instrument the force of very small magnitude involves in the instrument the instrument is quite costly as compared to other instrument and the size of instrument is also very large okay these are disadvantage so first one is wrong the second one is also wrong the third one is also wrong fourth one is right their power drain from the mains is negligible okay so this is the, this is the advantage of electrostatic instrument the amplitude in amplitude modulation very simple question repeated question in amplitude of the carrier signal directly varies in accordance with the amplitude of the message signal or intelligence amplitude modulation index of the am signal modulation index of the am signal depends on the peak amplitude and the carrier peak amplitude of the carrier and the modulating signal okay ac and am next quantization noise or quantizing noise can be reduced by increasing the number of samples per second it is true yes it is it is true actually okay so option a will be the correct answer here next in antenna an antenna is device that converts the guided em waves into a free space em waves and vice versa okay so option c is the correct answer here wave in which there is no component of electric field in the direction of propagation and the electric wave is wholly um, transverse are known as electric wave is wholly transverse that is transverse electric wave so that is te wave okay uh, question of electromagnetic theory a continuous wave radar cw radar can measure both range and direction option a is the correct a geostationary satellite is a satellite located at the height of around 36000 kilometer to ensure global coverage uh, actually it is 35800 kilometer or you can say 22300 miles okay so it will give you a global coverage okay it plays directly over the earth revolves in the same direction of the earth or rotates in the same direction of the earth uh, next Frequency modulation technique was used for the upward as well as downward link in the commercial satellite system. FM use here differs from FM use for the commercial radio broadcast in respect that high frequency deviation is used. Okay, so option B is the correct. DCX stands for very simple question digital cross connect is the right answer. Next, in 97, passive optical network system wavelength is used are PISPON. They are talking about a PON network. Huh, in, um, P, in now, right now, in CPON technology, we are using CPON, EPON, GPON. Okay, so very similar physical characteristics. They have one one uh, one three one zero nanometer wavelength for the upstream transmission 
and 1490 nanometer for the downstream transmission okay so b is the right answer correct option here the basic concept of applied optical fiber कौन सा कॉन्सेप्ट अप्लाई होगा ऑप्टिकल फाइबर में आंसर इज द टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन ओके दिस इज द वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन अगेन एंड अगेन वे आर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट इट इज अ पिटा हुआ क्वेश्चन ओके इवन इन द लास्ट पेपर करेक्ट आंसर वाज द टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 121 ओके ओडीआर इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज्ड फॉर ओडीआर इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज्ड फॉर मेजरिंग ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक so option d is the correct last test questions are very simple in analog technique of modulation in satellite system the most commonly employed system is okay this is the question this answer you can give from this question fm technique used for the satellite system now they ask which technique used for the satellite system okay so fm so question number 100 and question number 95 okay are interconnected you can say or in 95 answer of this question number 100 is already given so fm is the correct answer here okay so again i am repeating correct all the answers in your answer key there are many wrong answer given in your answer key uh, this is the paper of kerala jtvo lic 2013 hope it will be useful to all of you if any doubt is there you can ask me in the comment section okay don't forget to like this video share this video with your colleague and subscribe my channel okay thanks for watching